Hello, hello. In Twitter, somebody asked how I made this kind of zipper uh, opening. So in this video, I quickly show how it's done. This is very crude. It's not very polished tutorial. Start with a cube and divide it 50 times. Uh, you can put like 30 even if you want it to work faster. Then make this uh, zipper, just a cube, a uh, small, small cube is good. Remove the top and bottom sides of the cube, uh, subdivided cube, and mark the edges as uh, vertex cube value 1. Then add the dynamic paint. Mm, that's not modify. Well, that's modifier also, but it's in the physics tab. The subdivided uh, cube will be the canvas, and the zipper puller will be the brush. I don't wanna speed up this face so that you can see how it's done. After that, animate the zipper puller to go up and stop and then go down, like so. Then animate the erase paint checkbox in the stop phase of the zipper puller animation. You can animate the checkbox by pressing I on top of it in order to set a keyframe for it. In here I assign the middle uh, zipper vertices to the vertex group, but eventually I realized I need to delete these phases and not only add them to the vertex group, but I did something other important stuff here, so I cannot delete this space. Actually, it makes sense to pin or make a vertex group only for the corners of the box, not for the whole uh, edge loops. But do as you wish. Try out and experiment. Sorry, this is a little bit fastly made tutorial, so I don't do the stuff in a correct order. In here I need to add the dynamic paint vertex group. And also save the file so that it can cache the results. It's weird, I didn't remember to add the output vertex group, only here I do this. It should be done in the first place. But finally, look at how nicely the dynamic paint paints the vertex group and then erases it. Because we checked the animated the checkbox. And now is a good time to make this vertex weight mix modifier and this is only to subtract the dynamic paint from the base vertex group or something like that but it works then I added cloth modifier and that needs to be after the dynamic paint so I switch their places. Uh, actually, it might not even matter in, in this menu. I don't know, maybe it does. Then I bake the dynamic paint again, because we have this modifier now doing its magic. The mix modifier, the vertex Waked mix. But now, even if I bake the cloth after the dynamic paint, 
nothing happens and that's because I didn't delete the zipper where the faces so now I do that and then I assign the edges edge loops of the edges to the base vertex group but not the most up upmost ones because there could be a little collar that doesn't need to be pinned then I add a little bit more gravity to affect the mesh and maybe finally it's time to bake the dynamic paint and then the cloth again delete the old ones and start baking the bake happened somehow very fast but maybe it worked maybe it didn't i can't remember oh yeah it did work after baking the cloth modifier you can really tell then the rest of the time is only for making the scene look nicer like adding some subdivisions for the cloth and some thickness with solidify modifier and some mat materials and lights and what have you oh yeah i realized that for the cloth self collisions would be nice to have on so that the cloth doesn't intersect with itself so i need to bake all the uh, only the cloth again not the dynamic paint then i boost the lighting a little bit and that's about it that's how it works after that this one i made a torus splitting animation let's see that as well cool stuff cool stuff that's it thank you for watching and see you in my streams bye bye